Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we started the fourth chapter, the fourth episode, um, and we had Dr. Swinehart mending our wounds, and Snow and Colin were also in the apartment. Swinehart basically telling us, like, you really gotta start laying off this shit, because you're gonna get killed one day doing all this. After he left, uh, Colin, Snow, and Big B had a heart, real heart-to-heart -heart about how things really had to change. Snow saying, like, we gotta be more by the book. We can't have this kind of shit happen anymore. And, you know, we're saying, well, you know, we're doing what we can. Like, we're not really having much of a choice. These guys are playing dirty, and we can't always keep playing by the book. We have to fight back somehow. And play, going by the book means no fighting back. Which is not really going to work. Uh, we got interrupted uh, by Buffkin calling us at the apartment and telling us that Nerissa is waiting for us in our office. And when we talked to her, she basically came and said, I, I want to continue helping. Um, but she really couldn't. She basically said, like, you know, keep an eye out on your friends. Um, and we talked a little bit more about, like, the ribbons and figured out that the ribbons are what's keeping them from uh, talking. Anyone with a ribbon is magically compelling them not to talk, saying, my lips are sealed. Um... So then Snow White walked in and said that Beauty is looking to talk to us. Nerissa's like, you really should go keep that appointment. And uh, we basically ended there on our way to talk to Beauty and Beast. Is it Beauty or Belle? I, I always thought it was Belle, but I guess Belle might just be the... And you didn't want to tell me what you the were... The Disney in. version. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Go off in a hop. All right, all right, all right. I'm through talking... Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me, said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad oh guy Oh my god, Beast. Just I've had fucking... to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Okay, don't Hi, bring Bigby. out your insecurities Please on us, man. excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Wow. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again. That is a really <laughs> nice picture. Talk about living in the past. For you. That art style's One gorgeous. Thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Out. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but 
That's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. Why would it? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind like in this. Guys, you think you're on. the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Gonna answer it? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Hey, <laughs> we're not done if yet. we can't come I to should... the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Oh, God. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Look, you called me here. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Really? I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. 
You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Bigby... So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. <sighs> okay. So, what do we feel is the more important route here? by going to where beauty got her loan and potentially where other people get their loans or going to where beast delivers packages for the crooked man and where bloody mary is i, I mean the butcher's place sounds like the more logical place you know, like, loaning out, being a loan shark is one thing, but, like, what the fuck are they delivering? Like, is it drugs? That's the only thing I can think of. Black market, uh, what are they called? The, the, the glamours, black market glamours? I'm gonna go to the butcher shop. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but... Is there any way you could oh my God, help beast. us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous. To all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> we're the ones being vilified, antagonized, because we have this history of being the big bad wolf. And they're still harping on us for it. But when push comes to shove and we're trying to prove that we're not that, they're like, well, you, you, you are that kind of person though, aren't you? That's what you do. No. Like we've been trying this whole time to prove that we're not that kind of person. 
And they're like, uh, but but aren't you though? Aren't you really? Like, fuck off. I should have told him to fuck off. I should have told Beast to fuck off. You got yourself in that. I'll stop smoking. Whatever. Oh my god, there's so many options. Gilbasa. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Yeah, why is it frozen solid? Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I guess it's a crooked man's logo. I've seen this before. At the Tweedles. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I... I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. Uh -huh. We just... Uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing... Here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. No, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. You son of a bitch. Shit. Probably can't I smell anything. Back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Probably can't smell anything because of all the meat, the raw meat. I'm not gonna say anything. Can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? I'm not gonna let him know that I'm here. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. You gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. 
Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I honest. I I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. I've I've actually I haven't been back there in years. Oh my god, I don't know hand. any more than that. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. I'm gonna let him talk. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. And, and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there... I mean, obviously tipped him off with the fucking sign alarm. God damn, big big. What the fudge? Tongue of dog. There's a lot of tongue of dog and nose bleeds. Nose bleeds. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. Still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. Gonna sort this all out. Yeah, black market. So this uh, is thing, what yeah. Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. All right. Shackles. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Huh. Looks like math or something. Let's move it. See what's behind there. Oh, wow. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't 
Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials, and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. How the hell did all this happen? I didn't see it. Didn't stop it. This is a whole lot bigger than we thought. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. Fucker, Crane knew all about it. Yeah, yeah that's true. What about Crane? If this all, I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. You leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Smoking cigarettes with your feet up. Shut up. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The pawn shop? The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm going to take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Bet your ass we're gonna fucking take him down. Okay, and we'll save the lucky pawn for the next episode. This shit just goes deeper and deeper, eh? Like, I, I remembered stuff happening like this kind of stuff happening but i forgot the whys a lot of the you know who's involved in why um so it, it's still kind of like a shock to me whenever i'm like hearing it like i completely forgot about like crane knew all this shit he had to have you know the crooked man doing what he's doing like there had to be city officials in on it and crane was like fucking neck deep into this shit as tall as he is. Makes sense why the crooked man wanted him. Basically, uh, make sure he doesn't, he doesn't talk. Fucker Ichabod. Anyways, they'll they'll get their, their comeuppance at some point. Hopefully, right? But that'll have to wait for future videos further down the road. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.